Eye doctors use a combination of routine clinical exams and other specific tests to diagnose dry eyes. Once that diagnosis is made, it's important to know your options. We asked Dr. John Lahr, an optometrist and dry eye specialist, about how he determines which treatment is best for the patient. Dry eye, uh, according to the recent studies that have been published, somewhere between 30 and 40 million Americans uh, report symptoms of dry eye, some of them uh, every day, some of them at least two to three times a week. Dr. Lahr told us the symptoms of dry eye disease. The symptoms of dry eye are, are varied. Uh, people will report a, uh, a burning, itching. Sometimes it'll feel sandy or gravelly uh, as, they're, as they're going about their daily tasks. What are the possible causes of dry eye disease? Dry eye disease can have a number of causes. Um, dry eye is one of the age-related problems that, that we have as, as we uh, go through life. And so uh, generally in the 40s and 50s, we see people having more and more problem with dry eye. Gender is a, another issue with dry eye. Females are much more prone to dry eye due to menopause and hormone imbalance. We notice that there is a real spike in this. There's actually a study by Harvard that really proves this very very conclusively. The others are medications, um, over-the-counter and prescription medications, systemic conditions such as diabetes, uh, rheumatoid arthritis will produce, uh, produce dry eye, um, and some of the things that we just take on an everyday basis such as alcohol uh, has a diuretic effect, caffeine, coffee, uh, soda and soft drinks, uh, to an excess generally over three uh, per day will uh, exhibit some symptoms of um, dehydration and so we'll, we'll actually get some dry eye. And not ingesting enough good fluids such as water and juice can also produce a, a dry eye reaction. On my best day, my eyes would just be tired, they feel gritty, they feel sticky. Uh, and on my worst day, I would have severe pain with a feeling of foreign body in my eye and uh, really the inability to even sleep because my eyes were so painful. Dr. Lahr told us about the day-to-day -day strategies for treating dry eyes. Treating dry eye, there, there are a number of different strategies. If a person is complaining of a dry eye symptom, the, the frontline treatment, the number one treatment, is to use a quality artificial tear. And by quality, I mean one that has a long-lasting effect on the surface of the eye, that you don't put it in and in another 10 or 15 minutes you're reaching for that same bottle again. So you need one that has um, what we call long residence time on the surface of the eye. So that's, that's the number one strategy. Um, drinking water. I mean, you also can control your environment. Many of us work on a computer all day long and we tend to stare. We tend not to blink regularly. So you have to think blink, if you will, to, to get a, a good reaction there as such. Um, you can also uh, control your environment by not having a, a ceiling fan on, not having, if you work in a cubicle, not having a fan on your face where you will get excessive evaporation as such. So there are a number of very, if you will, common strategies, assuming that the eye is not in some sort of a compromised state, meaning that you didn't have a, a lid condition such as blepharitis or mybomitis, uh, if you didn't have some other systemic condition that's causing it, just general dryness can be controlled with artificial tears and controlling your environment. Up next, we'll have some information on treating dry eye before cataract surgery. The human eye is composed of over two million working parts. True or false? The answer when we return. Now you can take the American Health Journal with you. The doctors you depend on for instant information are as close as your mobile phone. So go to ahjmobile.com and get the latest medical information you need. The human eye is composed of over two million working parts, true or false? The answer is true. After the brain, the eyes are the most complex organs in the human body. It has two million working parts, processing 36,000 bits of information every hour. Dry eye disease is a common condition, especially as you age, and so is developing cataracts. But before you have cataract surgery, it's important to treat dry eye. We spoke to Dr. Sean Liston, 
a corneal specialist at Chico Eye Center, to learn about the importance of treating dry eyes before cataract surgery. When uh, people are over the age of 60, uh, they're more likely to develop dry eye disease. Uh, the numbers are anywhere from 5 to 30 percent of patients suffer from dry eye syndrome. Um, there are a number of factors, uh, notwithstanding the uh, laxity of the skin around their eyelids, can actually make it so that their eyelid no longer is gently opposed to the eyeball itself and providing lubrication on the surface of the eye. Additionally, they've been subjected to a lifetime of inflammation, allergies, infections, and so all of these factors play a role in actually changing both the architecture as well as the microbiology of the eyelid itself so that the tears they produce are of poorer quality and tend to evaporate sooner. The most important measurement is actually whether or not the patient is complaining of eye discomfort, first and foremost. Uh, there are a few objective measures which can be taken, such as a Schirmer's Test 1, which will actually measure the volume of the tears produced by the patient. Uh, and then there's another test called a tear breakup time, which is used to actually assess the quality of the tears uh, by determining if the tears evaporate too quickly off of the surface of the eye. Dr. Liston told us why it's important to treat dry eye before surgery. Well, with both cataract surgery and refractive surgery, it's important to address dry eye syndrome, whether or not the patient has dry eye syndrome. In some cases, they have dry eye syndrome, uh, and the measurements that we use uh, to determine what lens to replace the cataract with are obscured or um, made incorrect by the fact that the patient suffers from dry eyes. And so then those patients may end up with a uh, poor result from the cataract surgery by having an inappropriate lens implanted in their eye because of the poor surface issues that we were dealing with. And we asked Dr. Liston to explain how dry eye affects cataract surgery. It's important to address the dry eye syndrome uh, with intraocular surgery uh, because the, the measurements that we take in order to determine what kind of lens to implant in the eye after we've removed the cataractous lens uh, are affected by the surface issues which present themselves with dry eye syndrome. That can result in actually selecting an inappropriate intraocular lens to then implant in the patient. Additionally, after a patient has had cataract surgery, uh, they may complain of dry eye discomfort as well as intermittent blurring if you didn't adequately address the dry eye symptoms prior to cataract surgery and then they may end up disappointed in the cataract surgery result. And what can people do as they age to avoid dry eye disease and keep the surface of their eyes healthy? So one of the most important things a patient can do to try to prevent dry eye disease is actually see their eye care professional uh, on a regular basis, whether that's one or two or three years. Um, additionally, what they can do is they can actually treat the problems when they occur uh, using artificial tears if they feel that their eyes are drying out. Uh, they can actually take uh, omega-3 fatty acid supplements. Uh, one paper says that you can actually reduce the incidence of dry eye syndrome by about 30 percent for every one gram of fish oil that a patient takes. Or increasing um, uh, fish in their diet can actually help with that as well. Um, addressing, addressing several issues such as allergies or infections or eye irritations by either uh, seeking help from an eye care professional or treating the problem themselves can actually go a long way towards um, preventing the inflammations which can cause uh, uh, derangement of the tear film itself. We'll be back with a treatment for dry eyes that brings instant relief. You're watching the American Health Journal, the show that brings you the latest information on prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and research from doctors right here in Southern California. Watch the American Health Journal each week on KOCE.